So I'm not exactly sure what happened next, but uh, from what I can gather, the event, it was a points race qualifier, um, which means the qualifying for the final round, so the top, I think, like 20 out of 30 riders advance. Generally, that's not like a dangerous kind of race. There's not a whole lot at stake, like the people who are going to qualify, qualify. Um, all you have to do is get a few points. So I think it was going into the third sprint, um, I was second wheel with like half a lap to go, um, and... I, I moved up I moved up track to, to go around the guy who was first to start the sprint. And I think behind me, uh, people had already started sprinting. And when I moved up, I, I, I look over my shoulder, but someone must have just been coming by at, at two or three times my speed. And, and the, the best I can gather is that someone either hit my elbow or my handlebar. Um, I moved into their lane. Uh, that would be my fault. And, uh, and then I'm on a pavement going 45 miles an hour. Um, so I was laying there and I, I was laying there and I felt the, the collarbone. I was like, oh, this is, this is kind of bad. I, I think, I, I think I might, this might be a bad one. And then at that moment, I felt another pain in the back, which was someone. And then I saw a guy yard sale over me. So his, his front wheel came to a stop in my scapula, which broke that. So I was like, oh, I think this is bad. Ooh, it just got worse. Um, that was that was how that I was I was conscious the whole time uh, I'm, I'm pretty I might have I might have been knocked out from that pain <laughs> but uh, but I do I remember those things and and that's the best I can tell from uh, from how I landed in the hospital this series is brought to you by Velo guide Velo guide connects traveling cyclists with a bike and a guide in 72 countries around the world it's a great way to ensure a fun, safe, and customizable ride with a local expert or even a pro. Go to veloguide.com slash cookies to get $20 off your next cycling adventure. Collarbone, shoulder blade, ribs, and a partially collapsed lung. So it's pretty good. Yeah. I made it 10 laps, right? I think, will they give me a free lap if I jump back in? They give me a free lap if I jump back in. I think I can catch them. It's a bad joke, yeah, man. Uh, no, I'm I'm in good hands. My mom is flying in, so I'll be annoyed at how much attention I get. All right, so we did we did a little welcome to the hospital video uh, when I first landed here the other day, um, and then since we're out of order with the episodes, this is the other episode. Um, I wanted to do. I was really excited to do a Trexler Town episode of my show. Um, cause I, I used to come here when I first started racing, we would spend summers at the track here. Um, and it's kind of important to me and a big part of the, the North America cycling community that I want to talk about. Um, so I, I kind of screwed that up by crashing onto all of breaking all my bones in my face. Um, but I'm not going to give up. So, so first we're going to talk about what's going on here. I, I, I went to the hospital, the, um, they put me in the ICU, and then that night, the um, they brought me. I guess there was only the only beds left were in the burn unit, um, and I was so they sent me to the burn unit. Um, I was very disappointed that the burn unit didn't embrace the whole burn joke. Um, like I wanted to get there, and it would be like, if this was easy, it would be your mom. You know, I wanted to sign like that in the burn unit, but they didn't have that. Um, and then honestly, that was the worst night of my life. Was the burn unit? The um, I think they weren't, they didn't have the painkillers the way I needed them, and uh, it was hot, and I was thirsty. It was just, it was a rough night, and I was, you know, I broke eight bones. How many ribs do you have on each side? I broke that many plus two, because it's all the ribs, and then the shoulder blade and the collarbone. Um, so there were a lot of things to hurt. Uh, and then the next day, a uh, Bobby Lee came by, which was super helpful. Um, Bobby Lee, I think, that's my blood pressure thing, it's automatic, I can't control it, it's testing me. Um, Bobby Lee, when I first started doing the Olympic thing, Bobby Lee, if you don't know, multi-time Olympian on the track and a T-Town legend. Um, when I first did the test, I called Bobby and I was like, Mom, <laughs> my mom came to visit and disrupt the videos as much as she possibly could. <laughs> 
but uh, I do appreciate I'm, I'm taken care of here except when the cameras are rolling. Sorry. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Bobby Lee, when I, when I first did the Olympic test thing, I, I called him and I was like, dude, talk me out of this. Please talk me out of this. Uh, and he's like, man, 430's fast. You got to do it. So I think he feels responsible for everything and he should because it's all his fault. Um, so he came and, and helped me out and he's been supportive in this whole, this whole deal. Um, but anyway, so I was in the burn unit and then, uh, you know, and then I went, that was a rough night and then they brought me back to the ICU. Uh, Bobby connected me with a, a great, uh, surgeon, uh, Neil, what's his last name, mommy? Make yourself useful. Dusk? Look it up. You wrote it down. Sandusky. Sand something. Sandu well, let's get it right. I've already forgotten his name, so it sort of ruined the whole thing. We're going to have to cut this part. Like, Bobby introduced me to his name. I'm prepared. I told you I was going to need his name. I didn't know. Neil San Stansbury. 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 Sandusky, I think, is like... Forget that. Yeah, That's Sandusky is like a criminal or something. Trouble. Yeah, we yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. not don't Sandusky. Do Absolutely not. He was not. the one at Penn State. Yeah, Stansbury. Forget him. Stansbury. Neil Stansbury, who hasn't molested anybody. Um, the, he, uh, he did my collarbone surgery, and he did a great job, and he was super helpful, and everything's been dialed since then. Um, and then a bunch of you wonderful people donated to Chef Cycle, and I did a little the really sad hospital video. Um, and then Chef Cycle was happy for me. Uh, and they have a chef nearby and he brought some cookies and a nice breakfast. Uh, shout out to Lee. Um, yeah, and then I, don't know, I also have for my props, I have my broken shit. I ruined my cookie gloves and that's sad. Castelli cookie gloves. Um, ruined a lot. I have brand new shoes that actually they might, I think the shoes are fine. Um, okay, anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna get home. So this is, this is the first part of a, of a comeback video. I don't know what I'm coming back from, and I don't know what I'm coming to. So, I don't know, you know what I mean? I wasn't going to the Olympics, I was trying to go to the Olympics. So I'm coming back from trying to go to the Olympics. I don't know if I'm still trying to go to the Olympics. Um, I don't know how that, so the, a lot of it is there's, there's training and there's getting back in shape, but there's also, being smooth with your teammates and working with other people. Um, I just don't know if I'll have an opportunity to do that. Um, but basically, I have, I'm just as fast as I reasonably can, I'm gonna get back in shape and then see what I can do with that. Um, maybe that's for, maybe I'm going back to hill climbs, maybe I'm doing uh, individual pursuits where there's no other people that I can crash into or around. Um, so that's to be determined but uh but we're we're doing that um so this this is this is some sort of a comeback thing um the van tour isn't entirely over either um i still have the van i'm gonna figure out what else to do with it uh i'm not sleeping in it now i'm in a bed which is significantly less comfortable than the uh than the van so for dinner the first night they brought me ravioli i was in all the pain all the broken bones um and, and, you know, I hadn't, actually I still haven't showered, to be honest. We're on night, don't even worry about it. Um, but the, they brought me ravioli and two Chips Ahoy cookies. And so if, if there is a rock bottom for me, it would be that, I think. That would be the rock bottom. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's the beginning of my comeback to whatever this is. Um, and so I, like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna come back to track racing or to climbing. Uh, the goal right now is it's a it's kind of been a struggle to climb out of bed So that's my first climb that I'm gonna try to master and then uh, And then question mark, but I'll keep you posted But while I'm here, I can't I can't ride a bike So that's tricky given that my show is a bike show But uh, I can show you the places that you could ride a bike and I want to show you I, I can't hang out in Kutztown T-Town area without sharing the awesome bike riding culture and, and stuff. I don't want to fly back here. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to show you the spots that you need to hit and I'm going to show you what it means to, to cycling and, and this region, uh, Lehigh Valley. So uh, in, from a hospital gown and a car. And like I said, I've done four summers here, 
it's been a while, but I know this area and I've got memories. Um, so I'll be your damn velo guide. I don't need no velo guide to show me around places that I know. All right, that's a velo guide. Right there.